for the famine victims. In memory of those who died in the Irish famine, grant eternal rest to them. As we remember them, let us never forget those who continue to die of hunger in the world today. We remember those who were forced to leave our country in search of food and security. Open our hearts to those who come to our land in need. To those who experience hunger, give food. To those of us who have food, grant a hunger for justice. Good afternoon everyone. My name's Father Wayne Bendotti, the parish priest of the Dardanut Parish in the southwest of WA. I'm a good friend of um, Fred Ray and we have a lovely connection with the Irish community here in that we have um, the, the resting place of Elizabeth Carberry here in our old Pioneer Cemetery. Fred mentioned to me that today is the um, is the anniversary for the, the annual celebration of the Irish Famine Commemoration. And of course this year, like so many things, when you, you're not able to gather to celebrate that day. So I thought after Mass today I was, would come up and just have a moment here at um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Carberry's grave, just a moment of remembrance. And I thought, well why not share that? So here's my very feeble attempt at a little video for you <laughs> just to share a moment of remembrance um, acknowledging not just those who, who who came out to Australia as a result of the Great Famine but also everyone those who died those who suffered and for that suffering that has continued through the lives and families of so many so I thought I'd just light a little candle here Hopefully it will stay alight. <laughs> a little candle in remembrance of those who've died. May they rest in peace. I'll just pan around so you can see something of our Pioneer Cemetery. All the pioneers of this region. And of course, we're here at the grave of Elizabeth Carberry for a moment of remembrance. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. 
He makes me down to lie in pastures green. He leadeth me the quiet waters by. Thank you.